This video is designed to help you start a scrub uniform business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a scrub uniform business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful scrub uniform business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. The first thing you will need to do is find and contact manufacturers of medical scrubs such as Landau, Fashion Seal, and Cherokee. Make sure to look for things such as, quality. Look for brands that are made with materials and needlework, that can withstand the industry high temperatures, that are necessary when cleaning medical uniforms. Style. Look for brands that offer more colors than the conventional green and blue. Doctors and nurses may have to wear scrubs all day, but it doesn't mean that they don't want to express themselves with a little bit of style. For example, Cherokee offers several nursing scrubs with designs that incorporate floral patterns, cartoon characters and pop culture reference. Comfort. Doctors, nurses and medical personnel will be wearing these uniforms all day. It is important that they are comfortable. For example, Fashion Seal provides scrubs with moisture wicking side panels. Where should you locate your business? Determine if you will have a retail store location, or if you will sell directly to offices, hospitals and other stores. If you decide to open a retail store, you must find one that's suitable, negotiate to lease or purchase the space and set it up for business. However, if you choose to sell directly to hospitals, offices and schools, etc., you only need to invest in an office space in your home or other location. Marketing. Market your business to the offices, hospitals, schools and other businesses that will be interested in your uniforms. Bring catalogs, price lists, samples and business cards with you, when you visit. Advertise your medical scrubs business in medical publications, such as the New England Journal of Medicine, American Journal of Public Health, and the Journal of Clinical Investigation, and nursing journals, such as the American Journal of Nursing, the Journal for Nurse Practitioners, and the Journal of Advanced Nursing. To help expand your reach, design a website where you can sell your products. If you don't know how to do it yourself, you can use e-commerce platforms such as Shopify. They provide ready-made templates and drag-and-drop features that allow you to easily design an e-commerce website. Scrubs are used by medical professionals, including physicians, nurses, physical therapists, and medical office staff. Because scrubs are needed at clinics and hospitals, there is always a need for medical professionals in any group. Therefore, a market for scrubs, those who sell them, will make excellent profits. Starting a scrubs company is possible online, rather than in a traditional retail environment. Decide what type of scrubs you want to sell. Discount scrubs, scrubs with licensed characters or sports logos, wide and small scrubs, or custom scrubs made from designer fabrics. Determine if you are going to make the scrubs yourself, or order them wholesale. If you're a skilled seamstress and can make them, handmade scrubs will save you money, instead of buying them wholesale. Most scrub companies buy wholesale, because they can't make enough scrubs to meet demand. Another option is to purchase wholesale scrubs, but also provide personalized. Handmade scrubs for customers to order. Choose a name for your company and get a DBA from your county's court office. Obtain an IRS IN, employer identification number, and your state's resale permit or tax identification number, if you are required to collect sales tax on the scrubs you sell in the state. Find a place for storing your scrubs collection. Rent a storage unit from a company like U-Haul or Public Storage, if you don't have a suitable room in your house. Choose an e-commerce platform to sell your scrubs, on such stores as Big Commerce, Square, or Shopify. If at least some of your scrubs are made by hand, you can sell them on a handmade marketplace, such as Etsy. Buy a domain name from a hosting site like GoDaddy or DreamHost. That will cost you about $10 a month. Your domain registrar will guide how to connect your domain to your e-commerce site. If you prefer to buy wholesale scrubs from a retailer like Alibaba, you will be required to meet a minimum order number. Promote your scrub business by putting coupons and flyers, with permission, in hospital and clinic gift shops, ads in a local college and university newspapers, make sure they have a pre-medical or graduate medical program first. Launch a promotional blog, or give a discount to customers who buy more than one set of scrubs at a time. Example, buy two sets of scrubs, get 10% off your entire purchase. Choose a location. There are a number of ways to sell medical scrubs. You can have a physical retail location sell online, sell directly to clinics and hospitals, or a combination of the three. The most important thing in a retail store is location, location, location. Ideally, you'll want your boutique to be located close to a medical center or hospital, 
To make it easy for people to go to you. Make sure that the location is easily accessible and has plenty of parking. What do people want in scrubs? Medical scrubs have evolved from the plain white or green scrubs of the 1950s. You'll see them with different colors, patterns, and styles. Some people might want their initials embroidered in their scrubs, others may want a pocket stitched in. A lot of these options available will depend on the hospital or medical offices, that will be your customers. In some hospitals, there are rules as to what is acceptable, and what's not. Some departments are color-coded, while others have the freedom and flexibility to choose what they can wear. The next part of the video is not specific to the scrub uniform business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the scrub uniform business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful scrub uniform business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? 
Do you know what financial reports should be prepared and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following. Failure to recognize seasonal trends. Excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses. Too rapid expansion. And slow collection of accounts if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion. If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a scrub uniform business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free scrub uniform business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button, for more videos like this.